All right, in this video, we're going to talk about a few little handy shortcuts that aren't really on the mouse pad because they're, they're, they're not really those kinds of shortcuts. But these are some things that will make your, your sketching and, and estimating a little bit faster. And like I said, this is going to be a very short video, but let's just uh, let's talk about the copy paste functions. Um, I don't know if you're a right clicker. A lot of people like to right click and it's hard to get them to break that habit. But I like using the control key to copy paste and, and to cut actually. So let, let me show you how that works for those of you that don't know. Let's go ahead and put a room down here. Just hit the R key and let's put a room down. And let's uh, stretch it out a little bit. It doesn't matter how big. And then let's hit the missing wall tool, the M key. And let's just click and drag. And let's make that opening, I don't know, six feet. Okay. And now let's open up our properties right here or you can just double click on it and come down here let's change the shape to a round arch so now if you go into 3d you should see your opening and it looks like that now I don't if I've got a whole bunch of those I don't want to go into the properties I don't want to redraw that over and over and over and go into the properties over and over and over again so I can copy and paste those. Now, if you look at your keyboard, you'll see that the X is right next to the C, which is right next to the V. X, C, V. X looks like a pair of scissors, doesn't it? It's an easy way to remember that. So the X is cut. Control X is cut. Right next to it is copy and right next to it is paste. So cut, copy, paste are right next to each other. So Control X is cut. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. So now if I click on this Go ahead and click right here and hit Control C. C is in Charlie or C is in copy. What it's done is you've copied it onto the clipboard. So now if I hit Control V for paste, what it does is it now loads it on my cursor. You see how my cursor changed? And if I just go somewhere and click right there, I did not have to redraw that. And if I go into 3D, you'll see that I didn't have to change the properties, there it is again. Now, let's say that you got a whole bunch of these. It's still on the clipboard. If you hit Control V again and click again, it's still there. So you didn't have to hit Control C, it's still on your clipboard, just like in Word and Excel. And if I hit Control V and I hold down the Control key, I can now keep clicking and putting as many of those things as I want in there. Oh, it didn't fit in there. And it keeps putting them in until I let go of the control key, just like we did in our openings. So just that quickly, I put in all those arched openings and didn't have to rebuild them. I just used the control C, control V. And remember, control X is cut. So that's one little shortcut there that helps. And it's easy to remember once you do it a few times. It'll become part of that muscle memory. All right. Here's another handy little shortcut. What I want you to do is I want you to draw a window somewhere. It doesn't matter where. Just hit the W for the shortcut. Just click and drag. Put in a window and let's open up the properties there. Okay? Got your window properties open? All right. Let's say right here where it says window grid. And I click on that line right there. Instead of hitting this drop down menu here and taking a little bit of extra time, what you can do is for you can either type in the first letter like we want to change it to no so if i hit the n on my keyboard it changes it to no the other thing i could do is if i double click on it and this this doesn't work on the online version but it does work on the desktop I'm trying to talk too fast here if i double click right here where it says no notice how it changed it if you double click it basically goes to the next option so let's say i click right here where it says shape if i double click right here where it says rectangle notice how it changed to flat arch I double click again, changes to round arch, again round, or if you happen to know what you want, so like if I hit F, there's my flat arch. If I hit R, round arch. So that's a kind of a quick way of doing things. If I click here where it says deduct window, and I go down to the next line where I normally would use the drop down menu, if I just double click, changes it to yes. Now, sometimes you have to hit enter to get it to open the next line. But that's another couple of little, little shortcuts. If you put in the first letter, uh, you just click in the next letter, it'll put it in. And if you double click on, on an item, it'll keep changing that item for you. 
even down here where it says window type double click first click on it when it's dark like that double click there's my single hung horizontal sliding casement now if you've got a big long list to go through then it's faster to use the drop down but when you're talking about yes to no or if you know what the item is the first letter will quickly get it over there for you so that's a couple of little quick shortcuts notice here i would change it to my casement window now here's a couple of shortcuts in the estimate items so let's go to our estimate items actually you know what this is a good place to show you how this works i'm going to come up here to the, my master bedroom and let's say i want to chain i want to take all those and i want to copy and paste it to room number one that new room that i did all i have to do is click on a line number Control A, A for all, highlights everything. Now I can hit Control C, go to my next room, click on the first line where I want it to go, hit Control V for paste, and there I just copied and pasted everything. And wherever there was a variable, it adjusted for the size. Wherever there's a quantity, you want to check that. So see how easily I did that? Now, if I just wanted to copy certain items what you could do is there's a couple of shortcuts here if you click on a line item and hold down the shift key and click on a line of another line item it highlights everything between those two line items so I'll do it again click on a line item hold down the shift key click on another line item it highlights everything in between those two now if I just want to pick a few items I can click on a line item hold down the control key click on all the other ones that i want and now i've selected just those so the shift will highlight everything between two line items the control you can click on whichever ones you want and then again control c go to the next room click on the line you want it control v and now you just pasted those line items there so that's another quick little shortcut there Hopefully this uh, will help make you a little bit faster. Like I said, those little seconds when you're on a, uh, on a storm will make a big difference in your speed, especially when you get used to doing them. It'll become part of your muscle memory. All right, again, hopefully this video helped, and we're going to stop it right there. Well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. I think it's down here somewhere, or even better, subscribe so that you get to see any of the future videos that I post on here. Have a great day. We'll see you at the next video.